Hey, it's Bridget. Hi. Welcome to Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. These are my new mugs. Oh, yes. You can get one with a black background or you can get one with a white background. Touting them for the holiday season. It is November after all. You will see this video on November 6th for our Sunday morning coffee podcast. I'm recording it a couple of days early because I will be doing some traveling this week. In fact, when you see this, I will already be someplace else, warm. <laughs> so it's warm cup of coffee in my hand, and this holiday seasonal vibe stepping into November and embracing that energetic to the best that I can. Easy for me to say right now because I'm going to somebody's warm for a little bit. So, mm. You will enjoy the channeling, I hope, tomorrow on Above Life Channel. Um, I have a repeat customer coming back, but um, it's special. It's a little special one for a birthday coming up this week. So um, he actually inspired this Sunday morning coffee because I was really tapped into the energy in that channeling that I, I just did it. I recorded it just a little bit ago. And of this piece, just such a reverent piece. And so I'd like to honor peace, that energy of peace, and, and have a conversation with you about that here on our podcast today. And not just a talk about it, but a feel about it. So I would love to invite you to just feel your heart. Just put your hand on your chest and feel your heart. Just know that it's there. Give yourself permission to be here in this now moment while we are connecting today, while you are listening to my voice, while you are here in this moment. I honor and respect the energetic of peace that will be coming through in this particular conversation for you today. And I hope that it will bring you a sense of calm and connection within yourself. Nice breath in. And an exhale. Okay. Okay, got to stretch a little bit. Oh, I've been packing today. And so I always pack like in my head, like five days early. And then on the day before I have to go somewhere, I, I'm packing. Uh, so much is on my mind and on my heart, and I'm sure this is true for you. If you celebrate the high holy days of the Celtic Wheel of the Year, we just entered into Samhain, just Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, Saints, Saints' Day on November 1st, and we've had a lot of like astrological things going on with eclipses, and there's going to be a full moon this week coming up, and there's just, there's a lot of energetic intersections. So the topic of peace is, is very relevant to here and now. And so I, I'm feeling the water element in the throat chakra. Oftentimes when I connect with the water element, it's in the heart space and it's, it's emotional. It's emotional energetics. It could be medicine. It could be the fluidity or the desire to have something move or shift. And I sure feel like that. I don't know about you guys but I sure feel like that. I really feel like that. And in the conversation I just had in the afterlife, it was very much this very philosophical viewpoint of, and very kind of straight to the point actually about peace and how there's this assumption that we're separate from. And yet we hold on so tightly and relive things that are traumatic and, and triggering and wounding. And there's all this um, right below the surface is, is the pain. And it's like running in our veins, like our blood. And the truth is, is the alchemy of the fact that we're spiritual beings and energetic beings gives us permission then to move into a, a flexible, adaptive, fluid healing and to encompass the, the pain with a softness, a soothing, 
cooling energetic that can bring in this peace. And peace isn't a state that's like frozen, a stopping. It is a, a, a rocking sensation, like a movement. Um, so for example, in trauma-informed care, we talk about rhythmic repetitive movement to calm the nervous system. So a drum, uh, walking, um, literally being in a glider rocker or a rocking chair helps to calm the nervous system and puts us out of fight, flight, freeze, or fawn and, and gives us a way to move energy, to acknowledge that there's all this movement in our mind and our hearts and our emotions and gives our body permission to be part of a fluidity, fluidity of healing. It's like very much a cooling kind of a sensation, a, a watery vibrational energy. And, and right now it feels very much at the throat is where I feel it. And that's, that makes sense because the throat is also past life stuff. So if you have any cords or attachments or connections to others in past lives that are affecting you in this lifetime, that energetic will affect you here at your throat chakra. And can cause the misunderstanding, I think, of needing to hold on to that. When the truth is, is when we let go or at least loosen the reins a little bit, the horse has more freedoms to freedom to move, right? To go a little bit at a little bit of a, a more comfortable pace for, for that being. And so too for you. So loosen the reins up a little bit. I'm going to ask for Archangel Michael to help to just spread apart a little bit some of the it always looks like dreadlocks to me or braids okay or like gnarly hair <laughs> just spread apart that if you have like a bun at your head or a ponytail or something like that take it out if you can and just kind of shake up the back of your head oh my god I love to do this right now because my head is like all shaved in the back and it feels <laughs> really good I love this hello okay yeah it feels good so do that, just kind of let your hair kind of just be, let it get messy and just kind of let it, let it be open, relaxed, more relaxed, not wound tight and held tight and restrictive, but relaxed and just let the shoulders kind of wiggle and move a little bit too, so that there's fluidity here around the neck. So it doesn't feel like a band or this holding you back or like a choker collar, you know, like they used to put on dogs for training, like, uh -uh. And yet we're doing it to ourselves. So if we seek peace, if we want peace, we have to loosen up some of our hold on the past. Now, this isn't just past lives. This could be past experience in this lifetime where the trauma was created, the initial root of, or the initial event of the trauma, the traumatic experience, or the intersection point of the point before and then the point after. And so this is difficult. This isn't a place that people want to go to. I don't want to go to it either. And I don't expect you to do that here on Sunday morning coffee, but we're acknowledging that if, if you truly want to be able to be in a flowing state of peace and understand that peace is movement and not frozen or frigid or something for like the Buddha on high on a high mountain or something, or some beautiful shaman that, that can attain a light, enlightenment at the top of a mountain or something. It's not like that. It is here and reticent for us. There is, th this is the time to tap into that. So loosen up the past. Don't be afraid. Here's the thing that came through in the channeling, which I thought was really good. Don't be afraid to lose people, places, skills, uh, credentials, um, um, seniority, wisdom. Don't be afraid to lose things because the truth is, is you've outgrown so many people, places, skill sets, big <laughs> experiences. You've had a lot of life experiences in between the trauma. Okay. The, life has not been just been one trauma after another. There have been long stretches of, of you, living to the best of your ability with, in addition to the pain that has been wrapped in maybe some light, some medicine, there's been some loosening up of it, some shedding of it over time. You've maybe been introduced to healers, done your own clearing healing work, worked with ancestors, worked with spirit guides, worked with professional um, psychologists, psychiatrists, 
um, acupuncturists, massage therapists, aromatherapy, naturopathic people to help support you. And if you haven't, <laughs> hey, hello, here's a bunch of resources I just listed for you. You have this ability right here and now to allow for a new layer through awareness and a desire for peace. Let the desire of peace be stronger than the fear of loss. Because in this place of peace, there is a contentment that allows us then, at least for me, to go into the heart and release some of the pain so that there can be some room for the love to be reborn. So you're not letting go. You're falling into a deeper, broader, more expanded awareness of love, of, of this incredible regenerative kind of love that provides opportunities for more intersections and connections that are positive and healthy and hopeful, and then bring new people or renewed connections to people who are already in your life in ways that are much more profound because you come from a state of peace where you are provided for and sourced, not from the desire to fill the pain with someone else's attention or attributes or kindness or love, but for yourself and your fullness of your awareness of the peace that you are present with at any given moment through the fluidity of healing that already exists just right below the surface of your skin. And we've done this a little bit right now by just opening up the head. Yeah, that third eye chakra right here. Hello, third eye chakra. And then the shoulders. Oh yeah, the shoulders, the neck. <laughs> just give yourself a little massage if you can do that right now. Just tap those shoulders. Oh my goodness. Oh, that feels so good. And just rub up under the ears a little bit. Yeah, just do that. Touch your body. If you're like afraid or freaked out by touching your body, um, that's a problem, okay? We need to work on connection because how are you going to be spiritual? How are you going to be able to receive messages and energetic awareness if you can't let your own hands touch your head or your, the back of your throat or your shoulders? You have to get close to yourself to gift yourself with a peaceful, relaxed understanding of, of love and kindness and trust. Okay, okay, I know trust is a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask right now, I know. Mm. It's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask. And yet, ask for what you want. If you just keep it in and don't say a damn thing, nobody's going to know. They're just going to assume you don't care. They're going to assume you don't want that when you don't open up your mouth and say. This goes along the lines of keep rubbing your shoulders. Come on. This goes along the lines of tell people what they mean to you before it's too late. I have too many sessions with people who have regrets for not communicating or saying exactly how they felt. Mm -hmm. it's more painful to know that you didn't. There's something, there is a uh, saying that comes to mind, and that is peace comes from knowing only love is real. Peace comes from knowing that only love is real. And that is something that was on a card in a card deck a long time ago that I first worked with many, many years ago. And it was an Archangel deck and it was Archangel Chummel. And he had such a, a gentle softness about him. And it was very yellow, kind of solar plexus-y like Gabriel or Ural is. But just this really softness and, and always very soft-spoken, energetically felt very gentle in the touch. And the most like peace. Mm -hmm. And when we're in a state of emotional, just turbulence, it just feels like we're just being churned, which the world can do to us right now. It's just they're outside and other people come into your space and they spin around and there's just crap everywhere because their energy is all over. And 
it can feel so disruptive to your own state of awareness that it start you start to just not be present, you know? And peace requires you to be present and requires you to understand how you work inside, what you need, not to identify what you need and just go get it from some, some other people in your life and just siphon or suck their energy. It is much more to your benefit and you will understand peace when you come into your center space and you can speak what you need first to yourself. Can you tell yourself what you really need? Even if it's scary, even if you don't think it's attainable, even if you don't think it's possible for you right now, it doesn't matter. Even if it's, your peace is not dependent on other people. That's the thing. You can't get it from someone else. There's no substitute for your own peace. Peace only comes from you, to you and for you, from you, to you, for you. Peace only comes from you, to you and for you. This is why we crave it. And yet we don't understand that it's right here, right here, now, in this now moment. Take a nice breath in and just feel that. Yeah, do you feel that? Wow. Yeah, I know. I know it feels like it's fleeting. Yeah, it can be but you just invite it back in. You invite it back up into your awareness. You invite it back to the surface. You invite peace to the surface. You invite it, you speak it. You, you allow yourself to be aware of what you need and then you invite peace in to help with it. Peace is sort of like a guide or a tour guide or a concierge of sorts energetically. It's a gorgeous, when I see peace, um, metaphysically, it's a very much a, a very light, pale blue energetic, um, a little bit of a mint, a little bit of a green hint to it. It's very aquamarine. It's so like the throat chakra. But the throat chakra is about that communication and you having your voice. If you can't be truthful to yourself about what you want, and what you need, then you won't have the peace that is required for healing. You just won't have it. And you need it. And you don't have to be extra deserving or extra worthy or past five mi mile marker 17 in order to receive it, no. It's not like that there's no restrictions or requirements except that which you put on yourself by being false, by believing outward to satisfy inward when the truth is you are what you need. And peace is here, right here for you now, right here, right now. And you deserve the gift of that in your life. Oh, so the practical part of me is like, how do we get peace? Well, routine. For the brain and the mind, the brain and the body, the brain and the body, routine really helps. So sync up with the routine, whether it be walking the dog in the morning to get outside, get some fresh air, stretch your legs, get some movement opening up energetically to nature and the support structure that is naturally around you because it is everywhere. Or perhaps it's something like doing some meditation, either a quiet five minute. Um, I have a friend that is really into candle gazing. She's like, you got to do the candle gazing because her mind like goes a million miles an hour. And she's like, oh, Bridget, I can totally meditate and get into the zone. I look at the candle. And I lose myself in the flame. And so try that. Just for like set a timer for five minutes and just do that. Just kind of get into that cool in-between space where you feel 
not in your body, but in your body, but you're with yourself. You're with your spirit, not other people, not spirit guides, not just with you, just like that. Okay. There's lots of other things you can do to promote that structure of peace, like tapping or EFT. Check out the tapping solution on YouTube or the tapping solution. I'm doing it right now. Yes, I'm tapping right now. Yes, I am. Or the tappingsolution.com. They have lots of free videos about tapping. So you should check that out. It could help you if you're if you're if it's hard for you to meditate, just tap. Um, there's just there's so many wonderful things you could do with meditative journaling, um, such as a resource like Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, where uh, there's a, a technique or a method called uh, morning pages where you sit down and you take out a journal or a notebook and you write for three pages, whatever comes through, not with an intent or purpose to get a message or clear your head or whatever it is. You can literally have a conversation with yourself and be like, this is stupid. Oh, my back is sore. Oh, I need to make a grocery list. I mean, you can do things like that, but it's to clear. It's to just kind of set Clear the palate, cleanse the palate for the day. It's as simple as that. So again, that technique is called the uh, morning pages by Julia Cameron. Okay. There's lots of info on that online too. So there you go. There's just a couple of things to maybe start with um, to be able to connect. I really think that, so the channeling session tomorrow is going to, um, he talks about breath and he has us breathe and so that's really hard for me as somebody that can be very, very anxious. And my anxiety has been like, especially when you're going through a lot and you're healing and there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of hurt, trauma in the heart. It's really constricted and tight. And so it can be hard to breathe, just hard. And so he really talked about the breath and the that the breathing brings you into the moment. And that's the point of it. It is, and it can decrease your stress and all that kind of stuff too. But he just said, you know, just breathe to be in the moment, to be with the timing of the moment. That's that's what you do. That's the discipline. And I was like, wow, that's fascinating. And it's simple. It's so simple. It doesn't have to be a massive like fire breath. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like that. It can be just simply awareness of your breathing and how tense you are, how high up your breath is. And maybe do a belly breath or exhale and you know what I mean it's just it's not that complicated it's just breathing but it works these tools can work for you to help you be in a state of structure of peace and that fluidity of peace that you so deeply need it's essential and and you deserve it you deserve it right now do not wait so this is Bridget thank you so much for listening to and watching this Sunday morning coffee podcast with Bridget Make sure you get your Ho Ho Hope gear. There's a t-shirt. There's a couple of different mugs. I also have coming back this year, the, and they're on both sides. I also have coming back this year, my Merry Feminist gear. Oh, I love that Merry Feminist. That, that would be a Bridget original. Thank you very much. And you can see that um, on my YouTube channel, there's a place for products. And you can just click on the store, Fairy Grasshopper. It's a store. And then it will open up and then there's all these different choices for you. They're all, I will also put a link right at the top of this video. So you can just click on that link and just go right there too in the description. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for listening.